That's right, today on The Debaters, Talkmates would be arguing, Africa, can we attribute the key challenges we face to our leaders or to our people? It's going to be the head-to-head -head and persuasive speeches today. Our Talkmates have been asked to prepare for both sides of the argument. Debater 14 from The Ledge will affirm that the leadership core of Africa is at fault. You have Atiku on the opposing side. Everything rises and falls on leadership. John Maxwell's words. The moderator, the panel of judges, my co-debaters. The major challenge that we face on the African continent is the lack of visionary leadership. It is a truism to say that where there is no vision, the people perish. There can be no growth and development if there is no vision. A sizable chunk of African leaders get sworn into office or hijack the reins of power without a vision that definitely spells out the plans for the advancement of their nation. This has come to be the recurring decimal on the African continent. And of course, with this trend, there can be no progress. Another social malaise that has been accurately described as the seat type syndrome that has affected a good number of our leaders. This refers to the tendency of African leaders to perpetuate themselves in office by illegally amending the constitution to suit their whims and caprices. Can there be any order if those responsible for enforcing the law are the ones breaking it? Africa has had our fair share of dictators who have ruled not only with the hand hand but also with the hand fist. In these cases, the opposition have been silenced with the brute force and the power of state. And this in so-called democracies. We have examples of the likes of Milton Obote of Uganda, Mobutu Seseko of Zaire, and even Gaddafi of Libya, who says we cannot attribute the challenges we face in Africa to our leaders. It is on record that many African leaders have turned corruption into an art. Money laundering and reckless embezzlement of public funds have become their favorite pastimes at the expense of those on whose backs they rode to power. Corruption is a breach of public trust, a gross abuse of the power of state, and a violation of everything that is right. According to a publication by the BBC, Mobutu Seseko of Zaire was found to be richer than his country. Our leaders have not done the best. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Temilolua Atiku. Time for cross-examination. Let's start with the professor. Temilolua, is followership a part of leadership? Is servantship a part of leadership? To answer the question directly, yes, there is always an element of followership in leadership. I remember when the current president of Nigeria was campaigning, he said he wanted to be a servant leader. In other words, a leader of the people who would ultimately serve the people. So for every leader, the ultimate goal is to be a servant because leadership is basically a position of service or servanthood, if you prefer. 